so we received this bucket of stool, and FedEx dropped it off, and so now um, what we immediately do is we want to aliquot the stool and in the form that we want to uh, process it later on, instead of having it freeze and then deal with thawing and chipping away at frozen food. It's not as fun. So this is a surprise. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, lovely. So here we have pulled the poop. And so first, we're gonna scoop our poop into this, these cryo extract tubes. try to fill the cryo extract tubes as much as we can because these are our frozen socks for when we need to go back to the uh, go back to the primary sample so once that's finished we take our swabs and these are the swabs that we um, use for DNA extraction in our microbiome analyses so with these this poop's interesting because half of it's hard and half of it's pretty soft and pliable. We try to go to a good part of it and try to swab as much stool as we can on the swab as possible. If the stool is really hard, as in this part of it, we try to chip off a little piece and put it into the tube, into the swab tube itself, so that when we go back to it for DNA extraction, we can just put that piece of stool into the um, uh, extraction well. There's one. We aim for 0.25 grams of stool on each swab. So these are about what the swab should look like. Now after this, um, we have two vials for uh, metabolomic analyses and two vials for RNA analyses. And so when we aliquot these, we um, use the spoon top vials and just use these spoons to scoop them up just like that. I'll show you again. We try to aim for the same spot with the same um, analysis type. So because our uh, metabolomic analysis vials have ethanol in them, we try to go for the area of the same area of stool. And then for our RNA analysis, tubes that contain RNA later, we'll go for a different section of stool. Let's see, this one's a little trickier. But filling up the just the top of the spoon top is probably your best bet. like that. 